everybody so today I'm going to be showing you how I knit magic loop it may this is just how I knit it it may not be how you've seen other people knitting it but this is how I do it I've been asked for this tutorial a few times so hopefully today I shall be able to show you so what you're going to need first is a long circular knitting needle this is how long mine is I'm not actually sure how long this is it's one of my larger ones but as long as you've got a minimum of 20 inches, you'll be fine. So long circular knitting needle and you need to cast on some stitches. So I'm using quite a chunky needle just for tutorial purposes. So my stitches are going to come out big because I'm only using DK weight yarn. But just cast on some stitches as you normally would. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. So I've got 20 stitches cast on on this needle. So cast on however many stitches you need to, however many the pattern tells you. And that's where we're going to start. So I've got 20 stitches cast on on this needle and I'm going to put 10 stitches on each side of the circular needle. So first thing we're going to do is slide those stitches right into the middle of the needle. And we're going to divide, I'm going to divide 10 stitches between each needle. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, about there. The easiest thing to do is to split the stitches in half and pull the cable through. So you've got 10 stitches for each needle. Now, this is what you look like now. So magic loop can be a little bit scary. It doesn't need to be. So this is how mine looks here at the moment. I've got 10 stitches divided by two, two needles and that's my long cable there. The way that I knit magic loop is I always make sure that my working yarn is on the back needle. So this is my yarn, my working yarn here, and this is my yarn tail here. I want this on the back needle, so I'm just going to spin that like that. So now that's on the back. When you work in Magic Loop, you're all, always going to have a beginning of round. This is where this tail, the yarn tail, comes in handy, this one here. This, when I get to this on the right side of the work, I always know, I'm not getting the right one there, I always know this is the beginning of the round. That will become more apparent as we go on, so don't worry about that too much at the moment. Second of all, you need to make sure all your stitches are facing in the same direction, just like working in the round for any method. The easiest way to do this is push your stitches in like this, and just make sure all the stitches touch each other. They're all kissing each other. So they are all facing the right way. So when I push them down now, I know they're all facing the right way. The first round of knitting on Magic Loop can be a little bit tricky, but just bear with it. So to start with, I push all the stitches onto both needles, just like that. I know they're all facing the right way because I've just checked. The most important part of knitting on Magic Loop is to not create any stitches. And this is where most people go wrong. And I'm going to explain it as we go on because it's quite hard to explain from this position. So just trust me when I say you work in yarn, lay it over the top of that back needle like this. So it will be dangling down like that. Just take it and lay it over the top of that back needle. That's very important. And then your front needle does, doesn't have your yarn tail on. Your back needle has your yarn tail on, which is laid across here. And then what you're going to do is this back needle, you're going to pull it out and bring the needle around. So pull it out and bring the needle around to the front of the work. It looks a little bit weird and it will feel a little bit weird and just start knitting. So you go into your first stitch, it can be a little bit tight. Go into your first stitch 
and then your yarn tail grab it and just start knitting whoops it's so hard to do this through the camera start knitting your first stitch is really tight let's split my yarn there there we go pull that stitch off once you've got it off just give that yarn that yarn working yarn a bit of a tug you don't have to strangle the yarn but just pull it so this needle where you've got your first stitch is sitting flush with the cable and then knit your second stitch after you've knit that second stitch just give it another tug to make sure it's still flush when you're knitting magic loop some people get ladders in the work and that's because they haven't pulled that second stitch tight you must pull the second stitch tight and then just carry on right to the end of your work so just knit every stitch the good thing about obviously knitting in the round is you just knit every stitch so just knit every stitch across all the way across and then you've knit all the stitches on that first needle and this is now the position that you are in so what you want to do now is just keep hold of your needle and flip your work so you've got the working yarn at the back again so when you pull this needle Ignore that yarn tail. Your working yarn is now at the back. I always find it easier to have the working yarn at the back. If that yarn tail is getting in your way here, just pull it down. There you go. So now the yarn tail is on this side. So you know this is not the start of the work because it's now on the inside of your cable. See what I mean? It's on the inside. So... Push your needle, there we go. Push your needle, your stitches back onto your needle. So the needle without the working yarn is the one that you're going to be working into. So the working yarn is the back, and the stitches that have no working yarn are the ones you're going to be working into. So your back needle. Again, make sure that that yarn, the working yarn, is over the top of that needle. Don't let it come underneath like this. It must go over the top. And then pull out the back needle. And we are going to go into the front needle again. And we're going to knit again. That's the first stitch. Just give it a little tug. Make sure that that needle is flush to the cable. And just keep knitting. All the way across these stitches. All the way across once you've completed your first round you may need find that you need to tug that yarn tail a little bit it might have loosened up so just give it a little tug flip your work around so your working yarn is at the back again and pull the cable and you've done your first round that is how easy it is now what you might find here is you've got this long piece of yarn between the two needles that's absolutely fine it's normal just carry on that tightens up when you're about three rounds in so again the needle that has no yarn attached to it is the one that you're working into so slide all those stitches across and make sure you're working yarn is over the top of that back needle pull out the needle and go into the front into that first stitch grab your working yarn and knit 
give it a little tug to make sure your needle is flush with the cable and keep on knitting. You can add a stitch marker to the side with the yarn tail on to make it a little bit easier to see which is your beginning of round. I don't find I need to do that because it's quite easy to see the beginning of the round because that's where your yarn tail is. So once you get to the end of that needle, flip your work again. Make sure your working yarn is over the top. Pull your needle back through. It is easier sometimes to pull the back needle through before you attempt to slide the stitches onto your front needle because it can get a little bit tight. So yet again, make sure that working yarn is over the back. It's not You're not knitting it with this yarn dangling down between these two needles. It is over the back. So I'm going to show you one more time, then I'll explain that one. So into the front, into the first stitch, grab your working needle and knit, pull the yarn tight so your needle and your cable are flush together and keep knitting. All the way across. Till you get to the end of that one. Turn your work, make sure your yarn tail is on your yeah, sorry, your working yarn is on your back needle. Pull your cable through. And we're back to the start of the round. Here is the yarn tail. So we'll do another round together. So slide the stitches onto the needle. So remember your front needle has no yarn attached to it. Your back needle has the working yarn. Your front needle has nothing attached to it. Slide those stitches on. Make sure your working yarn is laid over the top of the needle, not underneath. Pull the needle through. And just start knitting again. It's easier to imagine the cable isn't there and you're just knitting on two straight needles. That's how I used to think about it. I used to just pretend the cable wasn't there. And just start knitting again. All the way across. All the way across to the end. Get to the end of the needle. Turn the work. Pull the cable back through. Working tail is at the back. The working yarn, sorry, is at the back. Slide the front stitches back onto the front needle. Mine's a little bit tight because I've got such big needles and only DK weight yarn. And carry on again. Until you get to the end. All the way across. And now we are back at the end again. So, do you remember earlier when I said you got that weird little piece of yarn? Can you see it's gone now? It's sorted itself out. So I just want to explain to you what happens if this yarn tail is not over the needle, as I've said. So, if you were knitting and you didn't have that over the needle, you had it dangling down here in the middle and you tried to knit, what you're actually going to do is as you pull that yarn over to knit, can you see you created a yarn over on that back needle? and you're going to start getting extra stitches. That's where a lot of people make a mistake. So if I was to knit that now, because my yarn is dangling down here, and I tried to make that knit stitch, 
as I pull that yarn, it's created a yarn over on that back needle. Can you see that? So you must always make sure that when you're knitting and you're going between needles, that this yarn tail, oops a daisy, is over that cable, it's over the top of it, it's not, un it's not dangling down underneath it, it's over the top of it. And that is how you knit Magic Loop. So I hope that some people have found that helpful. It's a really fun technique. It's really easy if you don't get on with DPNs or 9-inch circulars aren't for you. Um, it is a really easy technique. So knit away. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments for me and I'll try to answer it as best I can. But that is basically the, the techniques. So enjoy.